Hey guys, this is Shannon with AVA Direct, and today we're showing off a super compact but ultra powerful motherboard. As you may know, at AVA Direct, we built some really awesome, powerful workstations and high end gaming PCs. Well, with that, we were really excited when ASRock released the X299 ITX motherboard, this guy right here. Because as you know, X299 CPU is about the size of a hockey puck. Well, it takes up like half of the board space almost, so that's a lot of real estate, but they still managed to pull this off just like they did with the X99 board. So now, as you can see, unlike the previous board where it only had a couple channels of memory, this one they went with SODIM format, so the same as you'd use in a notebook. So basically you'd put it in just like your standard notebook slots, except instead of laying down, they stand straight up and they snap in place. Now it supports full quad channel. One thing about this board is they do not have the switching technology built in to switch between KB Lake X and Sky Lake X, so only the quad channel chips are actually supported. If you put a KB Lake X chip in here, it will not work. Now, one thing about this board, as you look at it, it's got a really small, like, seven phase VRM. So a lot of people would think, like, you know what, you're going to put a high core count, let's say a 7980XE, $2,000 18 core 36 thread CPU, probably not going to work. You'd be very surprised to know this thing works really well. It actually can boost all the way up when you set like your, uh, like your MCE, your multi-core enhancement. It will actually pull up to its full boost speed, no problem. The VRM does get hot, and part of that issue is that they had to create daughter boards to fit everything on it. So you have a daughter board right here that has your SATA, USB 2, USB 3 connector internal. Your VRM cooler is right down under here. So obviously that thing's going to have a rough life. Now we do take that, in, we do take that into, into thought when we uh, build systems here at AVA Direct. So we make sure we build it in a chassis that has plenty of airflow, even for a mini ITX system. Another daughter board is this guy right here. This is an M2 slot. It goes vertically. As you can see, it actually has two press clips. It's very similar to your SO DIM. So if you're not using it, technically you could take it out to increase airflow or allow better flip, fitment. There are three total M2 slots on this board. There's the one you have here. Then you have the two on the rear. These are both directly attached to the CPU, so they can be used for VROC or virtual RAID on CPU, which we'll be doing a video about coming up very soon, showing you how to configure it, how it works, performance differential, things like that when you're comparing RAID directly on CPU versus RAID on chipset. But this board does support it. Even though it's a super small board, this thing is packed with tons of features. It even has RGB headers, three fan headers, pretty much the whole gamut, including a full X16 slot. Now, obviously, you can enable... Uh, ah! That just happened. So, it also... <laughs> It also has a PCIe sink right down below. Effective enough because the chipsets can handle really high temperatures. So overall, this thing should be pretty good for thermal density. One thing, as you may be aware, Skylake X chips run pretty hot. There's not a good thermal interface material between the standard CPU and the IHS layer. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're running a really high-end chip, you're probably gonna want like an AIO liquid cooler or something that's gonna blow across really well to give you some really good thermals. Um, and you're always going to want to make sure if you use this board to have it, in have it in a really good case airflow situation. You don't want it in something that's really restricted because it'll basically VRM throttle and it'll cause you to not get full performance, especially if you're building this into something like a workstation. Now, being that we're AVA Direct, we do a lot of customization options. We do a lot of cool things. One thing we make sure of is optimum performance for your system. So if you call us and say you want a system based on this board, we're definitely going to look at airflow. That's going to be one of our major points that we're going to cover with you is to make sure you have adequate cooling so that you get maximum performance for your system, including, let's say, a Quadro compute card or whatever that you put in here for your GP GPU processing. So with that being said, if you like this board, if you think it's something that you'd like to see put in one of our customized systems or even a pre-configured system based on an ultra compact, super powerful form factor, let us know in the comments or let us know on our Facebook or any of our other social media so that we can uh, take a look at this and build you out a customized system as you need. I broke the foot. The foot. It broke. My precious. I did it. It's dead. It's dead. The motherboard killed it. It's all the motherboard's fault. It's not me. It's the motherboard. The board stays, see? It's a good board.
If you're looking forward to some great content coming out of our team here at AVA Direct, please join us on our social media channels such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And be sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notifications when we upload brand new videos to get you the newest in tech every day.